case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A dramatic twist took place in 1928, as the Supreme Court of Missouri ruled in favor of a defendant in the case of State v. Davis, overruling a lower court's conviction of an attempted murder. The question at stake was understanding when planning to commit a crime crosses the line into an actual attempt to commit it. Accused of attempting to commit first-degree murder, the defendant was initially convicted and sentenced to five years in prison. The evidence presented before the court told a tale of a conspiracy between the defendant and his girlfriend, Albertina Lori, who sought to eliminate Lori's husband, Edmund, to cash in his life insurance policy. The twisted plot involved hiring an ex-convict to carry out the murder, with the defendant offering a map and photographs of Edmund's location. Notably, the couple were interrupted by the return of Edmund and arrested by police officers who had previously been informed of the plot by the hired ex-convict. Despite the damning evidence upon reconsideration, the court determined that the defendant's actions were simply preparatory, falling short of the requirements necessary to justify an attempted crime charge. The defendant, maintaining his stance, argued that he had abandoned the murder plot before any overt act was committed. The Supreme Court of Missouri reversed the lower court's initial judgment, citing the case of People v. Youngs, among others, in its decision. The court argued that a convictable attempt requires an overt act that immediately and directly bears on the perpetrator's intention to commit a crime. In the absence of this, the defendant's hiring of an ex-convict and preparations to carry out the murder were merely preparatory, not a legitimate attempt. The court's controversial decision resulted in the defendant being discharged, adding another intriguing turn to this real-life crime drama. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.